Yeah, so my trait was uh, human violation. No, negative. What was it? Human right. Positive human versus negative, negative rights negative. violation. Right, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah human so, negative rights violation. Yeah. yeah, so you think we only have the obligation to extend positive rights to humans and not animals? Is that it? Well, what do you mean by positive rights? I thought you're the one invoking that word to. to no, I'm invoking the negative rights, not the positive rights. Um, what do you mean? Well, negative rights is like the right to not be harmed. Is that right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. And then presumably, like you lose that right when you're gonna kill someone else. If the only way to <laughs> stop you is to kill the, kill you, right? Well, for the helicopter example, like the example where you had a sniper rifle in the helicopter. Mm -hmm. Uh, shooting the xenomorph because the xenomorph is violating negative rights mm -hmm. by hunting humans. Yeah. But a lion is not violating human negative rights. Because wait, it's not no, really no, no, wait, 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 wait. But they're violating negative rights. They may not Who be is? violating a human's negative right, but they're violating another sentient being's negative right. The lions are? Of course. They're going to go over and eat, a, eat a, an animal alive. Like, let me ask you this. Like, when, when, <laughs> like um, if, if a being goes and eats another being alive, do you think there's no negative rights violation? Yeah, there is. But we are we obligated to more like are we morally obligated to protect animals to give them negative rights? To give them negative rights sounds like that's a positive right, but whatever. Um, yeah, that's the point. More, like, is there to the same degree that we would like? I would. I don't see like to if all the traits are relevant traits are equalized between humans and animals. Sure, like I would just na if, name the trait between the two. Um, like, just do do you think like it, we would be look? That's how you get to veganism, presumably. Like, you th there's a one of the ways, major ways. There's a negative rights violation for like farming and killing an animal and slaughter. Um. You know, but and, you know, when you do that, you are it is an animal. You're not killing a human. You're killing an animal. But that's a negative rights violation. Yeah. And so I'm we, just asking, what's, why is that a negative rights violation for the human, but not for the lion? Well, in veganism, we are obligated to not harm the animals. Right. But we're not obligated to protect them. Right? I, I understand. I understand that. So but. Okay, even if you take that view, first of all, even if you take the view that we're not obligated to protect them, um, it still be, would be a, could be argued that it's a good thing to protect them, just not obligatory. But secondly, you have to account for why, why it is that you feel obligated to protect a human and not protect an animal. Name the trait. You know, if someone's going to kill a human, you know, if someone's going to kill a human and... You, do you feel obligated to protect the human? Probably. You do. If someone's going to kill an animal, is it an obligation to kill the animal? If you say no, then I'm just going to ask you to name the trait. There are also reductions that Isaac is mentioning in the chat of, of taking the position that we have no obligation to protect animals. So, like he mentions, like, what if there were going to be a ton of animals suffering and then you just all you have to do is blink to stop the suffering? If you take the view that it's not your obligation to do so, then you don't have to. You know, there's some a lot of silly reductios on the position that you're not obligated to protect animals. Right. But I would say that we're obligated to protect animals from humans, but we're not obligated to protect animals from other same reductio applies. Yeah, the same reductio applies. Uh, if you could blink and stop a whole bunch of animals suffering, regard irrespective of human activity, and you don't do that, that looks insane. So are you saying we're obligated to blink to protect them? If they were, of course, if there was going to, if, if all you could do is blink and save a whole bunch of animals from like infinite suffering, irrespective of human activity. Yeah, right, it's looking insane not to blink. So you're saying we're, in that, in that case, we're obligated to blink. Well, yeah, but, but then that, then that, then the, in our day, in our day to day lives, we're not obligated to protect animals. Wait, what? Say it. Come again. Last day, the last part. So, like, in our day to day lives, we're not obligated to protect animals. But I mean, it depends on the different factors in your day to day life. But I don't see how that's relevant. The relevant point here is that if you take the position that you categorically don't have an obligation to protect animals from non human activity, 
you are susceptible to hilarious reductios. Namely, if a bunch of, you know, animals are just going to suffer irrespective of human activity and all you had to do was blink and it would all stop, you take the view that you wouldn't be obligated to blink. Now, that's insane. Me, anyway. No, I'm saying I would be obligated to blink. So shouldn't yeah, I be obligated to be protecting animals right now? But then it's a con. Wait, if you say that you're obligated to blink, that's a contradiction with what you said before. Right, because I was kind of I thought because before I didn't think that we were obligated to protect animals, but now you're convincing me that we are obligated yeah. to protect animals. So. Is it ethically wrong for me to be sitting here talking to you now instead of protecting an animal? I mean, I guess it depends. For it to this, if there was the same case as a human, to the same degree that you would be in a human case, yeah. I mean, if there was a human, um, so for example, if there was a human that was um, outside of your house and it was it was suffering and it was going to die unless you helped it. And instead of helping that human, you decided to talk to me on Discord. You, I would say you're probably a really bad person. Same right, thing for an animal. Isn't that what we're always doing? Like every second of every day? Like there's always a human that needs our help, right? Um, yeah, I mean, the, well, yes and no. If you actually look at the numbers, the amount of effort it takes to save a human, it actually, like there's a lot of memes about like how you could just donate a few dollars and save a human. It actually costs like over 4000 well, Bill um, Gates calculated it out to one thousand, but okay. Yeah, it's uh, that's very tenuous. I'm not convinced of that number. But regardless, um, there there is a way around. Now you're just asking questions about general problems with positive rights, and I have a video on that, on how to get around the general problems of positive rights. But Why would you want to get around it? Not to get around it, because there because well, to get around the absurdities that it may entail. Like you could just reduce yourself to slavery with positive rights. But this is tangential no. to the point. You're noticing that this is actually, you're, you're getting off the topic. The topic is, is there consistency between the positive rights that we would extend to humans and animals? And I think there should be, unless you can name a relevant trait. Well, because I thought you were saying that we should ethically kill carnivores. Mm -hmm. What is yeah. the I thought the implication there was at minimum, doing at that. minimum, at minimum, at minimum. And I don't even have to say it's an obligation. At minimum, I would say that it would be a good thing. I'm not even. I don't even uh, have to commit it to saying we're obligated to do so. I could just say that it's a good thing to kill the carnivores. Oh, okay, yeah, that's quite a bit different, I guess. If you're just saying it's a good thing to do it, then that's yeah. It, it, it's just the position can hold without it being an obligation. The position can just say that okay, well, it's it's a positive thing. It's a good. It's a it's a morally good thing to kill the carnivores. Oh, uh, okay, that's different. I thought you were saying it's ob it's an obligation. So, so then my reasoning fails. Okay, does anyone else want to try to save the lions? 